Hi everyone, this is Bronislava from Handmade Rukodělky. Um, today's project is going to be crocheting soles for boots. Uh, actually, this is going to be first video of three, okay? So uh, look for other two videos as well. First, we need to make four soles. Um, exactly like this, uh, two for each foot because we will be putting two soles together for one foot and two soles uh, together for another foot. This is 11 inches and over here this is four and a half inches, okay? So we need to start with a foundation of chain 20. So we will make first knot stitch and now make 20 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now that we have 20 a chain, we will work around first on the top of these loops and then on the bottom of these loops all around okay and uh, so this is how we will do it first so this is our um, stitch where we will need to go in so first we need to make chain three one two three so you have one two three chains and into fourth right there we will make three double crochet stitches this is one two three and our chain three counts as one double crochet stitch so all together we have really four now we will work 18, 18 double crochet stitches along these uh, chains. In each of these loops, just this loop, okay, make one double crochet stitch. 18 times. I made my 18 double crochet stitches and this is my last stitch right here. And this is where I will make seven double crochet stitches all together into one stitch, seven of them. So make seven double crochet stitches into that one chain. Okay? This is my two, three, four. Five, six, and one more. This is my seventh. And now I will be working with these loops on the other side where I will make again 18 double crochet stitches into these loops until I reach my last stitch over here where I will make three more double crochet stitches. So make into each loop one double crochet stitch. In another loop, okay, and make one double crochet stitch in another. And you can stop the video now uh, and wait for me uh, and finish the row not wait for me but uh, finish the row and then uh, you can uh, continue crocheting along with me again okay I made my 18 double crochet stitches er along the other side and uh, since we did in this last stitch 7 double crochet stitches over here we have three plus uh, three chain which is four we still need to make three more double crochet stitches into the very first uh, chain stitch so this is one 
two, and one more, three. And now we will join it into circle, okay? Into the third chain. So this is one, two, three. This is our third chain. So that's where we will join it. This will be our second row and we will start again with three chain one, two, three and then we will make our uh, next double crochet stitch into this because this is our connecting so you need don't go in here you need to go right into the next one okay and you need to make one double crochet stitch into the next stitch and then you need to make increase so you make two double crochet stitches into the next one into the third stitch you make one double crochet stitch into fourth stitch you make uh, two double crochet stitches <laughs> and now we will make 16 double crochet stitches along this side so let's do one one okay into each stitch one double crochet stitch 16 times and you can stop the video finish this and then you can start playing it again because that's when I will continue. I made 16 double crochet stitches along the side and now we will do one double crochet increase so we will do two double crochet stitches into the next uh, stitch into the same stitch. Now we will do one double crochet stitch and now we will do five into each stitch we will do two double crochet stitches into each five consecutive stitches five times okay so we will do five increases so this is our first stitch two double crochet stitches into the same one that's one this is second time two double crochet stitches in the same one, same stitch. This is third time, two double crochet stitches in the same stitch. This is four times, two double crochet stitches in the same stitch. And one more time, two double crochet stitches in the same stitch. So five times I increased, okay? Now we need to do one double crochet stitch into next stitch. Now we will do another increase in the next stitch. So two double crochet stitches in that stitch, second one. And now we will do again 16 double crochet stitches along this side. So make into each stitch one double crochet stitch 16 times and um, you can stop video here and I'll meet you when I am finished so I'm finished with my 16 double crochet stitches and now we will finish this part and that is two double crochet stitches into the next stitch that's our increase then just one double crochet stitch another increase which means two double crochet stitches in the same stitch one double crochet stitch in here and now we will make one more double crochet stitch right there into the same stitch where is the three uh, chain and now we will connect it together
You could make this uh, second row li a little narrower to make the um, the sole narrower if you have narrow feet. So, uh, in other words, these 16 double crochet stitches, you could have made them half double crochet stitches instead. Okay, so you you would uh, crochet. 16 half double crochet uh, stitches here and 16 half double crochet stitches here. This is our third row, so we will make first uh, three chain again, okay? And now we will make a double crochet increase in our next stitch, which is over here. You see, this belongs to the chain three, so over here is our next stitch. And we will make two double crochet stitches in this one here. Now we will make one double crochet. And in the next stitch, increase again. So two double crochet stitches into the same stitch. Now we will make three double crochet three double crochet stitches in that means one double crochet stitch into each stitch so this is one next stitch next stitch again just one and this is our third uh, into next stitch so we made three double crochet stitches into three consecutive uh, stitches and now we will make two along this side 12 half double crochet stitches. So this is our first half double crochet stitches. So yarn over, pull yarn through and then pull yarn through all three loops. That's half double crochet stitch. And again half double crochet stitch. That's two and we need to make ten more. So you can stop the video now and when you're finished with your 12 half double crochet stitches you can play it again. Now we will make 5 double crochet stitches that means 1 in each stitch. Okay, 1 double crochet stitch 5 times. So that's 1, 2, three, four, and one more, five. Now we will do double crochet increase, so that means two double crochet stitches in one stitch and one double crochet stitch into next and two more times the same way double crochet stitch increase so two of them in this stitch and one in the next stitch two double crochet stitches in the next one and two and only one double crochet stitch in the next Now we will do two double crochet stitches here and two double crochet stitches here. So we will do two increases. So this is one and two in next stitch and one more time two double crochet stitches in the next stitch. One and two. And now we will do one double crochet stitch, two double crochet stitches, one double crochet stitch, two, one and two. Okay, so one double crochet stitch and increase two double crochet stitches in here, one and two, and two more times the same thing, one double crochet stitch in here, two double crochet stitches in the next stitch, 
I got tangled in here. Okay. And now one more time. This is our third time again. So one double crochet stitch in the in this stitch and two in here. And two in the next one. One and two. Now we need to do the same thing like we did in here, five double crochet stitches into five uh, next consecutive stitches. That means one stitch only in each stitch, five times. So one, total, and the next one. That's five total. And now we will do twelve half double crochet stitches again. So this is one half double crochet stitch into each stitch 12, 12 times, okay? So that's one, 11 more times. And I'll see you when you're done. We need to make three double crochet stitches. That means one double crochet stitch in each stitch three times. That's how I should go and say it instead of confusing you when I was talking before. So that's two and one more, third. Okay, so three double crochet stitches when each of them is in each stitch. Double, double crochet increase, so that means two of them in the same stitch. Now just one here. One double crochet stitch in the next one. And now we will do two double crochet stitches, two double crochet stitches, okay? Two in this one, so that's one increase and one more increase. And two double crochet stitches right in here into this stitch. And our last double crochet stitch in the same where is the three chain stitch and connect it together into the third chain. So you have to count one, two, three, connect it in there, join it, okay? This is our fourth row and like I said before, if you need it narrower, this is our heel. So here, heel part, you could do half double crochet stitches instead of double crochet stitches okay but then the counting would be the the increases would be the same but i'm doing um i'm doing it with uh double crochet stitches so three chain if you would be doing half double crochet stitches in this part and in this part you would do only two chain okay and then you would continue over here with half double crochet stitches and this part would be the same. The tip would be the same. Anyway, so let's go and not, let me not confuse you too much. Uh, so chain three and now we will do, uh, we need to do double crochet increase in this first stitch in here. Okay, so double crochet increase which is two double crochet stitches in that stitch next stitch is just one double crochet next stitch increase again so two of them in the same stitch and now we will make one double crochet stitch right there okay and now let me see i have it written in here okay in of one double crochet stitch in four stitches so that will be four times one double crochet stitch uh, in other words four double crochet stitches so that's one that's two next stitch that's three stitches and one more stitch in the next one so that's four of them, one in each stitch. Okay. 
Now we need to do half double crochet stitches and we will do it 15 times. So 15 half double crochet stitches along this uh, side. Okay, so this is gonna be my first. That's one half double crochet, two, and you can stop the video and finish your 15 half double crochet stitches along this side. I finished my 15 half double crochet stitches in here and next is going to be uh, four double crochet stitches, one in each stitch four times. So this is one double crochet stitch, this is second in the next, third in the next stitch and fourth in the next stitch. Now we will do double crochet increase one double crochet and we will do that four times okay so one double crochet increase which is two double crochet stitches in the same stitch and one so this is uh, first time double crochet stitch increase so this two in same stitch only one in the next stitch, two in the next one, one and two, just one here, that's three times, and one more time right here, double crochet increase, and one stitch, one double crochet. Now we will do one double crochet in here and one double crochet here. In next stitch one double crochet, in the next stitch one more double crochet. And now we will do one double crochet, two double crochet stitches in the next. One double crochet, two double crochet stitches. Okay, so we will repeat this four times. So this is going to be our one and here two double crochet stitches in the next stitch. One and two. Now we will do this one more time. One and two. Okay, so one here in the next stitch and two in the next stitch. Two double crochet stitches in the same one. Two more times. One double crochet stitch in the next stitch two double crochet stitches in the next stitch and one more time one double crochet stitch in the next and two in here and two all right uh, my camera died so I had to recharge my battery but we finished with uh, four times one, sing, uh, one double crochet in one stitch and two double crochet increase in another stitch and we did that four times and now we need to do four double crochet stitches one two three and four and now we need to do 15 half double crochet stitches that means one half double crochet stitch in each stitch 15 times and uh, again I will uh, uh, push the video forward so you don't uh, you can go and stop the video here and uh, when you're finished with 15 half double crochet stitches start playing the video again. I finished my 15 half double crochet stitches. Now we will do four double crochet 
stitches that means one double crochet stitch in each stitch four times so that's one two three four now we will do one double crochet stitch and double crochet stitch increase in next one that means two double crochet stitches in the same stitch one double crochet stitch in the next again two double crochet stitches in the next which is double crochet increase so this is one and two and we have three uh, stitches left and in each of these stitches you will do one double crochet stitch so one next one again and the next one one more double crochet stitch and we will join Take both of your uh, soles and place them with the wrong side facing each other. Okay, so this is my wrong side, this is wrong side, and I am putting it together like this. And also make sure that the uh, heel goes with the heel, that you don't uh, that you don't line up the heel with the front. All right, you don't want to do that because front, uh, the tip of the sole is a little bit bigger than the back. So here you have three chain. Okay, here you have a uh, uh, double crochet stitch, double crochet stitch, double crochet stitch. So basically, the the middle is between these four. Okay, and the same thing in here. The middle is between these four stitches right here okay so line those uh, together now let me make sure that I do it right and we will um, slip stitch these two together okay and this is how we will do it Okay, so let me see. We have to go and find that middle one more time. Yeah, it's right here. Right here. Okay. So we need to go and slip stitch this stitch with this stitch. Okay. And we will go in. In here, where is our... A join and we will go in that particular stitch so this is our middle this is our middle all right just make sure and make a slip stitch so you pull yarn through and make a, a, a pull yarn through through that a stitch that was on a hook and this is your first slip stitch and now you will continue going through these each stitch here and the next stitch on the other sole so they are like lined up and you will pull it through pull yarn through and make another slip stitch and do not make it tight make it uh, on a looser side okay and another one next stitch next stitch and pull it through and pull it through and make those stitches as even as possible that means try to keep the tension about the same next one you go through both you pull yarn through both and you pull yarn through the the stitch and go like that all around your 
two soles okay I'm almost finished with slip stitching all around and I have four more uh, stitches left over here and if you did it right you should go and have four more stitches left here so um, hopefully you did not skip any stitch so this is one here is one because of this join is a uh, kind of funny funny uh, funny stitch but it's in there and that join is on the other side I already have that join over here and one more okay very good so we have two soles connected together and we have a nice thick a base for our uh, soles and it's going to be so much softer to walk on it also what I would like to say is that um, uh, you could put a felt on the heel and around here so on cut out a little felt and sew it on so it doesn't wear out fast because sometimes the way I walk for example I'm a very energetic person and I wear out these soles very fast and we will be working uh, in the other video on top of the boot okay be working on and as you see I did one row orange and I still made one more brown in here so I'm not going to go and cut off my yarn just yet uh, you can also uh, crochet this boot with just one color if you want or uh, do any combination of colors you want. I'm finished for today with this video and uh, look for the other uh, video to finish the boot uh, on my YouTube channel. I will also post links and that's it. I thank you very very much for uh, crocheting with me again and don't forget to share my videos uh, you can click on the links below below the video and uh, if you haven't subscribed you can always subscribe uh, and that's it that's it thank you so much thank you and I will see you another time